Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial you will learn how to generate cumulative calculation by drop-down, how to use offset and match functions, and how to create the drop-down which generates the cumulative for running total. Let's have a closer look. This is the drop down that generates the cumulative. For example, if you select a month from the drop down, the cumulative is generated till that month, in which January being the first month. Suppose if you select March from the drop down, the cumulative for January till March is generated. Now let's see how to do that. Now let's give this tutorial a final touch. At this moment, you should learn two functions. The first one is the offset function and the other one is the match function. Before that, let's have a look at the formula I have created. I have nested, sum, offset, and match functions. Now let's learn the offset function. In my opinion, the offset function retrieves or fetches the data from a cell, that is a number of rows and columns, away from the referenced cell. For example, if I want to know what data a cell contains, that is one row down and three columns away from the cell the 11, then I would use this formula.
The next function you want to learn is the match function. The match function can be used to know the position of an item in a group of cells. For example, if I want to know what is the position of March, I would be using this formula. I guess, many of you already know, the cumulative sum formula. It's important to have a closer look. In this formula the sum function is used. Here we could see that, there are two, cell addresses. The first cell address, is an absolute cell address, that refers, to the first cell in the array which remains constant. But the second cell address, represents the ending cell address, that keeps incrementing automatically, in order to calculate the cumulative, or, the running total. Now let's put everything together. Let's learn how to link this formula to the drop down so that the cumulative or the running total is generated only up to the cell we want, say till the month of March or till the month of May. Now we would be using the offset function and the match function inside the sum function. Now let's put everything into action. Let me explain the formula in detail. This formula can be divided into two parts, similar to the sum function, which is normally used to find the cumulative. For example, equal sum dollars a dollars ten colon eight ten. In this formula, dollars a dollars ten refers to the first cell and is an absolute reference, and a ten refers to the second or the ending cell address, which is not constant and keeps incrementing the cell address. Thus it adds the value of that cell with the previous cell's values. In our case the first part is a 12 which represents the first cell address. And the rest, from the offset function to the match function, represents the second, or ending cell address. Here we need the formula that uphands, or increments the cell address automatically and makes easy, to find the ending cell address by itself. Also this formula needs to be linked with a drop down so that the cumulative can be generated up to the amount of cells we want. Here I have used the offset function, to fetch the data from the cell that is located on the same row, and certain number of columns to the right of the cell, A12. Where, the number of columns to look on the right side, is determined by the match function. Since the number of columns to move to the right side, cannot be known automatically, the match function is used here. The match function here matches the data, in the cell C3, which is a drop-down. It then looks in the array A11, to L11, and returns its position. The position thus returned is a value, which is used by offset function for the column number. Hence the offset function and the match functions, do the job of determining, the ending cell address. Particularly the match function is the one, which links, this formula with the drop-down. I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. Please feel free to ask questions in the comments below. Also don't forget to share with your friends.